In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up Stripe payments on your WooCommerce store. As you can see here, I have my WooCommerce plugin on my WordPress website. And I'm going to show you step by step how to add Stripe payments. So when you go to your settings of WooCommerce, you go to payments. You can see over here when it's done over here, there's no option to add um, Stripe. So what you want to do is you want to go to plugins and then hit add new over here and now you want to install WooCommerce Stripe just type that in WooCommerce and Stripe just like this and then the WooCommerce Stripe payment getaway will come up and then you want to install it as you can see it's by WooCommerce so it's not a third party um, app or something this is all by WooCommerce itself and now you can go back to the same page, just like this, and then go to settings, and then go to payments. And then when you go down, as you can see, here are a ton of uh, options now, because they're all with Stripe. So now you can select all these Stripe payment methods you want to add, so ideal, EPS, so forth, credit card. But for this video, let's say we are, I'm going to show you how to do it with the credit card. So you want to enable it just like this and then hit setup over here. That's what you want to do first. And now as you can see, you can set up Stripe for WooCommerce. So now you want to hit enable Stripe. This is by default on then the title. So just leave it like this. I would recommend you to use it like this and then hit the keys. Uh, and then you have to enter in the keys over here. So what you want to do is you want, if you, you want to go to Stripe, just type in Stripe in the new tab, and then go to stripe.com and then log in if you haven't already. I already logged in, so I hit my dashboard. And now what you want to do is you want to connect the API keys. You want to connect the API keys to the keys over here. So what you want to do is you want to go to the search bar and then type in API like this. And then you want to hit developer API. And now you want to copy this public key. And as you can see, it's copied right now. You want to paste it in here and then go back and hit copy the secret key as well. Make sure you don't show to anyone because yeah, just don't do it for your payments. Then hit uh, paste in here as well. And what you can do with this is you can basically set up the test payment on your and website. And now when you go to your checkout page on your website, you can access, the, access it by typing in your domain like this and then type in slash card. This will bring you over to a card. And as you can see, it's empty. So let me select something. So I'm going to buy this test product I just made. Then I'm going to show you how it looks. So just add it to your card and then hit proceed to checkout. And what will happen right now, this will bring you over to the checkout page. And as you can see, here it says credit card with Stripe. So this is the test um, page, pay with your credit card Stripe test mode enabled, as you can see there. So the people can just enter in their card number and all this stuff and then place their order. So this is basically how you can set it up for the test product page. And this is, how it works with every payment method from Stripe. So what you now have to do, if you, you, you have to go back to Stripe to the API keys and then type in webhook, so developers webhook like this, and then hit add endpoint and then select the page on here. So go back to the WooCommerce settings and then copy this link and paste it in here. And then the description, you can leave it like this and then select the event, so select account and then hit add endpoint. So yeah, this is great, you set this up right now. And then you want to uh, hit click to reveal the signing secret, copy this as well. And now go back again and paste it in here. And basically what this does is whenever someone puts their credit card in here, it verifies first if it's real or not and if the payment goes through. So if you won't use this, anyone can buy the product with a fake credit card or something like that. And that's definitely not what you want. And now you can go back again to the WooCommerce settings. Now you can add a statement descriptor. So I would recommend you to put your store name. So I just do the website name I have like this. 
and here you can customize some stuff as well like the inline credit card form the the themes and the types of the buttons but that doesn't really matter for the payment this is just for the looks of it so when you're done you can hit save changes and this is basically how you have to set up stripe payments for your credit card you can go to other payments as well so let me show you the um, software over here and then go to setup as you can see, this works a little bit different, but you can do it the same way with um, with Stripe and then it works as well. So that's basically how you have to set it up like this. So now I'm going to show you how the full process looks. So let's select a product, return to the shop, add to, add to cart, this is the test product again, and then hit view cart and go over to the checkout page just like this and now you can enter in all your information I'm yeah to do that this um you can also add notes if you want so hi this is a is a test order and then you can select the payment method so for now the only payment method is credit card with stripe then select the card number so I'm going to select my card number right now. So this is the credit card I'm using. This is a test credit card. So you can basically enter it in with everything. And now you can also select save payment information to your account if you want to do something with your website in the future. So if you have an account made, you can select this. And as you can see, the, the um, customers can also see your privacy policy over here. So now you can hit place order and this is going to load for now for the credit card and then people receive the email through their credit card and through the email they signed up for. So if this uh, helps you out to set up Stripe payments for your WordPress store, please leave a like and subscribe and see you next time. Hi. 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 Hi.